hello guys welcome back to my channel it's a girl at home with Didi. anyway guys if you have not subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for please hit the subscribe button and like this video before we even start because it's a house tour guys like the video <laughs> i traveled all the way all the way even though i didn't travel but <laughs> still the same thing anyway guys the house tour you're about to see belongs to my kid sister and her husband and they were so kind enough to send in their video and gave me the right to share this video with you guys so this is what i'm doing so i'm really excited to share the journey with you yeah guys so all i can say for now is it is a four bedroom house so enjoy the tour and we'll see right after the tour <music> So, welcome to my new home. We are going to start from the ground floor. So this is the living area. That's the window. That's where the television, hopefully the nearest picture will go. Um, this is the switch and all the ones. And that controls, this controls the heating on the ground floor. Here is our storage, on that second storage. We're actually going to shelf this place to make it be organized. For now, it is chaos. This is the kitchen and dining area. What we plan to do is get a small dining table for this place. Fridge freezer is there and storage. We're still buying the loads of storage containers because we didn't come with any. I did a little cooking because we don't have food here. Uh, there's that. What I'm super grateful for about in this house is the loads of storage, both in the kitchen, upstairs, the ground floor. Oh, every time I do this thing, I always forget that here is where we have the dishwasher. Managed to use this once, and this is storage. And. For now, we're not using this bin. This is our sensor bin. We're not using that now until we're able to get council to clear all of this. That's our garden. That's our garden. Here is our utility room. There's a lot of laundry we need to do. That's uh, it's going to be. It's, it's not going to be anyways. For now, we're just keeping it to A because it's been in lockup for a while. This is our boiler. Yeah, this is our cook room with the toilet and the washer. So there's no organization anywhere yet. We are thinking of opening up this place into the garage so that we have an access from inside the house into the garage. We don't always have to go outside and open the big garage door to get stuff because we want to put our big deep freezer there anyways. So that's it for this place. We're going upstairs. Upstairs, upstairs. So here we have the main bathroom and toilet. For now, we're not using it until we're able to tile a bit more. This is the tiling we got from the developers, so I'm not satisfied. Anyways, so, like I said earlier. What I love about the house is the amount of storage we have. This is another storage. Somehow we don't know what we're going to do with this yet. Well, there will be an update later. So, guys, don't laugh. This is where we're keeping our heads for now. Because 
our bed is still on the way. We've ordered. We didn't come with anything because we didn't want to have to use some of the things we were using before. Mm. So, this is where we lay our heads at night until our bed arrives. Humble beginnings, according to my sister. Uh, and here is another storage. Here is another storage. Uh huh. And this is the main bedroom, and that controls this controls the heating upstairs. Here you have the a suite. This is the one we're using for now, and. Somehow we didn't expect that we're going to get a cupboard and shelving for this place, but we're grateful for it. Yep, that's that. And something else I love about this house is that my children, who love moving vehicles, get to view them life and not the toys they have. And so we have a view of the room, which I love. And we used to live in an apartment. So they used to feel a whole lot caged. This is bedroom three, where we're keeping our, our bags and boxes. And there's something I didn't mention. All the rooms have alcoves. So what we're going to do is just get built-in um, wardrobes for the alcoves. Let me show you. This is bedroom four, and this is the alcove I'm talking about. So this thingy, this whole, Thingy here where we're going to have to put the wardrobe and then the whole shelves, drawers built in. And I think that's the tour of my new house. Thank you. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. So as you can see, it's a four bedroom house with master's bedroom, a family bathroom. They also have a Vistos toilet downstairs. They have a garage. I'm not sure they actually show their garage. Entrance to the garage is from the outside. So they are planning to open up, you know, um, open up one of the walls from the dining area that would lead them into the garage, which is a good and fabulous idea because I can tell you from experience, it is the best to have um, to have an access into your garden from inside the house, okay? I would say they have a sizable garden. One thing I love again about their house is the kitchen. Their choice of color, I love that. And I also love the fact that they have lots and lots of storage corners. Like, guys, that is very important, I'm telling you. Because you don't want your house to be filled up with lots of junk. So there are some things you, you feel like eyes shouldn't see. You just hide them away possibly just organize them somewhere off you know off the off people's sites you know so yeah i love that about their house as well i hope you guys enjoyed my sister taking over my channel and please if you have not subscribed kindly do so guys hit the like button okay and i'll see you guys in my next one stay fabulous bye